Hello my fellow working class heroes, good day. I am Carlo, welcome to Carlo Excels. So these are the objectives of this episode. Uh, this is the introduction episode. We will have our introduction first and then I'm going to give you a very basic introduction of Microsoft Excel and then answer the question, who exactly is this channel for? And then of course, I'm gonna state the general objectives of this channel's videos. So let's do po a very basic self-introduction. My name is Carlo. Carlo Ang. You can just call me Carlo. I've been a high school teacher for more than 10 years now and I've spent most of those 10 years actually creating Microsoft Excel sheets for my workmates in my school. The things I know about Microsoft Excel aren't exactly expert level. I wouldn't even call it advanced level. Uh, if you have the levels of Excel, for example, beginner, then you have basic, and then you have intermediate, advanced, and expert, I'm probably still at the intermediate stage. But still, uh, the things that I know about Microsoft Excel, I would like to share to my fellow teachers because most of my fellow teachers are still at the basic and the beginner's level. So that is what this channel is for. Thank you. What you can see right now is Microsoft Excel. It's very, very known and very common to us teachers because of course, we need this spreadsheet program for a variety of uses such as storing records, calculating grades, arranging data, etc. So once again, the type of program that Microsoft Excel is, it's called a spreadsheet program created by Microsoft, right? It is a successor to the very, very old Lotus 123. For most beginner users, they simply use Microsoft Excel to create very simple charts and tables because unfortunately, creating charts and tables is not as easy to do in Microsoft Word compared to Microsoft Excel. Also, for most beginner users, they simply use Microsoft Excel to simply arrange lists or arrange values because of course, it's much easier to arrange lists and arrange values in Microsoft Excel because you already have the, the cells, you already have the columns and the rows, so it's much easier there. For most basic users of Microsoft Excel, so we're no longer talking about mga beginner users, we're already talking about mga basic users, okay? For most basic users, they simply use Microsoft Excel for basic calculations and very basic functions. For example, um, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. You also have the very basic sum, uh, functions such as uh, sum, average, you know, things like that. But of course, people already know that Excel is actually very, very powerful. And if in case you don't know, I am telling you, Excel is very powerful and it's very useful to process large amounts of data very, very quickly. And one of the best advantages of Microsoft Excel compared to, you know, other programs is for you to be able to process data very quickly in Microsoft Excel, you don't need to be a programmer. You don't need uh, Java or to know C++ or BASIC or things like that. All you have to do is just learn Microsoft Excel. And in most cases, especially for us teachers, that's going to be enough. But what people need to understand about Microsoft Excel is Excel by itself is not necessarily smart. Excel can only do what users tell it to do. You can call it a very, very fast idiot, all right? In the sense that it can process a large amount of data very, very quickly, but it cannot do so unless we specifically instruct it to do so. It cannot do it on its own. We have to be able to know how to tell Excel what to do. So that's Microsoft Excel. Next, let's lay the ground rules for this channel. First is, this channel is not necessarily meant for beginner users. This channel po is meant for basic users. So when I say beginners, not for beginners, ang ibig sabihin ko po is, when you come into this channel, I expect that you already know how to open Microsoft Excel, how to move your mouse, you know the basics such as bold, underline, italicize, you already know how to change you know, font colors and font sizes, things like that. This is for basic users who already know all of those things and I want to graduate them into intermediate users with the calculations and the functions and the automating of data processing and things like that. Next is, this is a channel that is made by a teacher for teachers. So at least for now, we are going to stick to the functions and methods of Excel that are actually useful for my fellow teachers. Pero po, if you're one of the people who found this channel on YouTube using the search function and you tell yourself, hindi pala para sa akin to kasi hindi pala po ako teacher, okay lang po yan because even though you're not a teacher, the functions and the methods I'm going to teach in this channel are still useful for other trades. But of course, you will notice that the examples I am going to use for my lessons are of course for teachers. But oh, you can still use them. Next ground rule is, at least for now, we're not gonna teach VBAs and macros in this channel. Well, first key reason for that is it's because VBA and macros trigger antivirus software for some reason. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying that we don't want to necessarily have to trigger antivirus software. And of course, it's because we don't really need them for now. Please don't get me wrong. VBAs and macros are very useful and very powerful if you know how to use them. But 
Excel itself, without the VBAs and without the macros, is powerful enough for our uses as teachers. So we're not gonna deal with them, at least for now. Next, and this is very important, for now, we will stick to the functions and methods that can be used in all current versions of Microsoft Excel, meaning versions of Microsoft Excel all the way back from Excel 2007. So what you can see on the screen right now is the very old Microsoft Excel 2003. This is what it used to look like. Right? You will notice that there's the, uh, the file edit view format over there, and that is what it used to look like. This is Microsoft Office 2003. And this is the look that we are more or less more familiar with, diba? Right? In this particular version of Microsoft Excel, you already see the ribbon, you already see the modern look. This is Microsoft Excel 2007. For now, we will stick to the methods and functions, again, that can be used in all versions of Microsoft Excel up until 2007, meaning there are some things that I'm going to teach that are not necessarily compatible with Microsoft Excel 2003. That is because I expect na at least in the computers that we use as teachers, most of them are already using Microsoft Office with this particular format. In some of the newest versions of Microsoft Excel, you have very, very powerful functions such as, you know, the, the modern concatenate, you have the some ifs and the ifs, and of course, the very, very nice lambda function. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna deal with them in this channel, at least for now. Maybe I'm gonna deal with them, pero in the far off future pa. And the very important reason, of course, why I am limiting myself and I'm limiting this channel, at least for now, to the early versions of Microsoft Excel is because I do not know what version you are using. There are some teachers, of course, who are very blessed to be using the very, very modern Microsoft Excel versions. But for a lot of teachers, a lot of teachers are still stuck using earlier versions of Microsoft Excel. Some teachers have Microsoft Office or Microsoft Excel 2013 in their laptop or in their office, etc. Some people have as early as Microsoft Office 2010 and some people have as early as Microsoft Office 2007. That is why, for now, we're going to limit the functions and the methods to early versions of Microsoft Excel so that I know that whatever method and whatever function I'm going to teach in this channel will definitely be in the version you are currently using. And don't worry, trust me when I say that even though we are limiting ourselves to the early versions of Microsoft Excel, the functions and the methods I'm going to teach in this channel are powerful enough for our needs as teachers. And one other reason why I am limiting myself to early versions of Microsoft Excel is because I do not even know if you are using Microsoft Excel. For one reason or another, and in most cases the reason is economic in nature, people do not necessarily use Microsoft Excel. They use other spreadsheet programs. For example, a lot of teachers use the free spreadsheet programs such as Google Sheets or OpenOffice.org Calc or we also call it sometimes LibreOffice Calc or sometimes they use the Kingsoft or the WPS spreadsheets. But because Microsoft Excel right now is the industry standard, these programs that are on the screen right now, Google Sheets, Calc, and Spreadsheets, the methods that I'm going to teach in this channel are also going to be usable for those particular spreadsheet programs. Next up, who is this channel for? So as I mentioned a while ago, this channel is primarily meant for the education sector. Of course, it can still be usable by businessmen, by statisticians, by engineers, but the examples I'm going to give and the functions I'm going to give are primarily for the education sector. So for my fellow teachers, of course, you already know that Excel is going to be important for us for storing grades, for calculating grades, and things like that. But do you have to be an expert-level Microsoft Excel user? Not necessarily. You just need to know some of the basics and some of the intermediate stuff of Microsoft Excel. Of course, alam po natin na napakaraming oras ang ginugugol ng mga teachers pagdating sa pagre-record ng grades, pagka-calculate ng grades. But if we already know some of those stuff, if we already know how to calculate grades, and most importantly, how to automatically arrange them, how to automatically present them, report them, and print them, then we're going to spend far less time on those things and much more time in things that actually matter, which is teaching, guiding, and forming our students. If you happen to be an academic head na napadpad sa channel na to, hello po. So when I say academic head, I'm talking about subject area coordinators or department heads, things like that. I suggest po na at least one of the people in your team, one of your teachers, knows Microsoft Excel. And of course, when I say no Microsoft Excel, I'm talking about it in the intermediate or advanced level of Microsoft Excel. That is so that there is at least one person in your department that you can trust and that you can turn to when you need a large amount of data processing for the good of the department. And for school heads po, 
Hello po mga Madam Principal, hello po mga Sir Director. For school heads, I suggest that at the very least, the registrar should be an intermediate level Microsoft Excel user. Of course po, the reason is obvious. It's because the registrar is the repository of data records of all of the students. And in most cases pa nga, the registrar also functions as the finance office, the registrar also functions as HR. So, of course, they need to, uh, to process data very, very quickly. So for this channel, we're going to upload a new lesson maybe once or twice a week. Thrice kung swertehin. So there will be two kinds of videos that you will see in this channel. Meron pong mga lesson video at meron pong mga application video. Of course, lesson videos are going to be lesson videos. It is where I'm going to be teaching you how to use this function, how to use this formula, how to do this, how to do that. And of course, application videos are those wherein we're going to take the lessons that we learned from the lessons videos and use them to create something tangible and usable such as class records, um, report cards, attendance forms, things like that. So one thing you should know about this channel is I am going to take time to explain some of the more intermediate Excel concepts. Hindi ko po mamadaliin yung channel because hindi ko po mamadaliin kayo. Believe me when I say that ako, excited din ako to be able to already go to some of the deeper levels of Microsoft Excel for teachers. Gusto ko na pumunta ng if, gusto ko na pumunta ng VLOOKUP. But still, before we get there, ang dami ko pang basics na kailangan daanan before tayo makapunta sa point na yan. Of course, may mga tao pupunta dito, sasabihin nila, Sir, gusto na namin matuto ng mga things like index match, but before we get there, ang dami ko pang kailangan ituro. Say for example, before tayo dumating na index match, kailangan ko padaan ng things like uh, review the basics, kinds of values, um, cutting, cutting, copying, and pasting. I need to teach absolute referencing. I need to teach the control H, the hash trick, uh, things like sum average, count, uh, rounding, value, text, uh, the text functions. Ang dami ko pang da da dapat daanan before tayo pumunta sa mga juicier stuff. So please hang on. Kasi po ang goal po natin sa channel na to is hindi po tayo nagtatanim ng munggo. Nagtatanim po tayo ng mangga. Di ba nga ho yung munggo napakadaling patubuin? Madalas nga po yung munggo yung ginagamit sa science project for basic science when it comes to the basic lessons on growing plants. Yung munggo, iwan mo lang sa tubig yan overnight. Pag gising mo sa umaga, tumubo na yan. Pero yung munggo po, in most cases, madaling ang patubuin pero madali lang din mawala. Di ba? Iwan mo overnight, tutubo na siya, may ulam ka na. Pero pagkatapos nun, wala na. Ang mangga, on the other hand, napakahirap patubuin. Yung mangga po, itatani mo, ibabaon mo, didiligan mo, hindi pa tumutubo yan. Kahit pa paikutan mo, kahit pa sayawan mo, kahit pa pausukan mo, hindi pa tutubo ka agad yan. At kahit tumubo yan, ang tagal pa mamunga. Ang tagal mong kailangan hitayin para mamunga. Pero, pag mamunga na, pitas ka na lang ng pitas. Di ba yung mangga ganun? Pitas ka na lang ng pitas pag meron na. Minsan, nagsasawa ka na sa kakain ng mangga, may pipitasin ka pa rin. Nagtatay ka na sa kakain ng mangga, may pipitasin ka pa rin. Nauhulog na sila sa lupa, may pipitasin ka pa rin. Kaya in most cases, sa sobrang dami ng pwede mong pitasin, pinamimigay mo na. Yan po yung goal ng channel na to. Hindi po tayo nagtatanim ng munggo, nagtatanim po tayo ng mangga. It will take time for us to get to where we need to go. Pero pagdating natin doon, kapag mamunga na yan, pitas na lang kayo ng pitas. And I hope, pag pumipitas na tayo, mamimigay din kayo. So that's it for the introduction to this channel. Please subscribe to the channel para naman po pagdating natin sa mga lessons, you don't miss them. Again, I am Carlo. This is Carlo Excels. Thank you very much for watching.